U.S. officials believe ISIS planted bomb on Russian plane. What's going on, guys? May K Electric. It is Thursday, the 5th of November, 2015. Million Mask March Day. Let me give you this from CNN. I'm sure everybody's been watching this whole thing with this plane. Now, the latest U.S. intelligence suggests that the crash of a Russian passenger jet uh, over the weekend was most likely caused by a bomb in, I'm sorry, on the plane planted by ISIS or an affiliate, according to the United States official familiar with the matter. But the officials stress the formal conclusion has not been reached by the U.S. intelligence community. Put a link to this from CNN. Wow, that's, you know, coming out and saying something like that before you even know what really happened. You know, they're saying, well, this plane tail hit the ground and it might have been soft in the back end, but it was fixed, what, in 2001. You know, all kinds of different theories going on. Let me give you this from the Daily Mail. Is this proof that ISIS shot down Russian plane killing 224 people? Terror group releases chilling video as experts say jet did not did not lodge SOS call or have any faults that would have caused crash. Well, I'm not sure how you can do that, how you can say that definitively when I don't even think they've, they've examined all the voice recorder stuff and they haven't even begun to piece the plane back together, but whatever. Put a link to this. You can scroll down. Yes, uh, the Durka Durka did claim responsibility for this right away, and they got pictures there that may or may not be the plane going down. And if the Durka Durka did do this, did they do it with American weaponry? Let me give you this GLP thread. Reminder, John McCain said he would provide rebels with surface-to-air missiles to shoot down Russian planes. John McCain said he would provide rebels with surface-to-air missiles to shoot down Russian planes. There's a video in the thread. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, the Durka Durka doesn't have the kind of technology to shoot a plane down from 30,000 feet, which if there was a bomb planet on board, you know, you don't really have to shoot it down. It's going to, you know, something about a barometric switch or something. But... Let's say something was shot at the plane. Was it shot with weaponry that was seized by the Durka Durka after we abandoned it, or did we uh, directly airdrop it to them, as we have done time and time and time again? Oops, our airdrop landed in the wrong hands. I'm just curious as to your opinion. Look at this. Ironically, Israeli Air Force was practicing shooting down planes near the site when the plane went down. Put a link to that. Drill going on, as always. The Telegraph, now. I am deeply, deeply disturbed, and let's get into the Operation Blackjack warning of this video. Al CIA leader calls for lone wolf attacks on the West. This from the Telegraph on 3 November 2015. Are there real terrorists in the world? No doubt. But I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about what the, what the, what the governments will do and blame it on. We have the perfect enemy right now, folks. If the Blackjack Jericho scenario would happen to play out, they could say, well, the Durka Durka did it, the whole country would believe it. Just how much it's been in the news. USA Today. Feds have roughly 900 domestic probes about Islamic State operations and other extremists. Really? 900 probes when just last week they came out and said, you know, we can't vet all of these Syrian refugees for terror ties. I'm very alarmed that a scenario is set up and ready to go. And the elite are just putting their chess pieces in order now. It's almost go time in my opinion. AP has this. UN agency says more than two, pay attention, two, it's a mind-boggling number, 218,000 migrants cross Mediterranean in October. 218,000 migrants cross Mediterranean in October. It's a, it's a record. How many of those do you think have terror ties? That's an alarming thought. The Telegraph, Libya, when I look at this, the Islamic State and the Caliphate and all this agenda. Libya warns it will flood Europe with migrants if EU does not recognize new self-declared government. Are we talking about Sharia law? Put a link to this. I believe this is a new article, 2 November 2015. And what are all these people bringing with them as they cross all over the world? Look at this. Are we ready for the next, the next global epidemic? Question mark. CNN. Lovely article from them. Go along with that for this. Cholera in Syria. Is Europe at risk? You know, both Operation Blackjack and Jericho, there was forced vaccinations. And, you know, if there was some sort of a global pandemic, well, the elite could certainly accomplish their uh, depopulation goals. You know, along with giving people forced inoculations, possibly an RFID chip, all the spooky things we've been talking about for years. Guess what? This is no longer fear-mongering. This crap is happening, folks. Put a link to that. ABC6 has this. Look at this. It's not just a Europe problem. 
Uh, casino owner proposes housing Syrian refugees at Old Casino. This is out of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Come on in. we got plenty of space for you in the Casino FEMA camp. Tell me your thoughts. Meanwhile, look at this. Raw story. Anti-Muslim militia warns against refugee invasion at Idaho State House. This isn't some made-up crap. For November 2015. Love your thoughts. What is this all about? In the end, at the end of the day, this is all about the new world order. A one world government, a one world religion, a microchipped population, erasing all borders. Soros, pay attention. Soros admits involvement in migrant crisis. National borders are the obstacle. He says national borders are the obstacle. Your thoughts? Got another one to back that up. Uh, pro professors and politicians gather to warn, warn us about the new world order. October 27. What do they mean new world order? That's just crazy these people. There's nothing. Nah, these people are all just crazy. Trust me, I truly hope that was the case, but it's not looking so. Got one from Breitbart. They're quoting the Daily Beast. What is this all about? Erasing borders, taking guns, making sure people can't resist tyranny. Obama and Hillary toying with civil war over gun confiscation. 2 November 2015. Mainstream news. I'll remind you in both Operation Blackjack and Jericho, they take the guns. And like a video I put out here recently, all of these false flag shootings or real events, whatever, never let a good crisis go to waste. Just go to serve the psychological operation on the people so that in a post-Operation Blackjack Jericho world, when a new government comes in, they can, they can say to the people who are left in the United States, we're going to have a country without guns because don't you remember how bad it was when Americans had guns? Remember all the mass shootings and everybody's going to be like, yeah, we don't need these guns. Let's have a gunless society. And then they got you, folks. You can no longer defend yourselves against tyranny. I know many people won't give up their guns. And, you know, this fight, I fear, is going to be, well, you know, blood in the streets. Because Americans are not going to give up their firearms willingly. But I'm sure that's okay with the elites, because the more dead people, the better in their eyes. Again, global depopulation goal. Read the Georgia Guidestones. Anyway, I'll give you that. Speaking of someone who's down with the New World Order, Obama and Hillary, and how about Merkel? Did you see this man? Angela Merkel, visibly disgusted by German flags. Someone's, someone hands her a flag of her own nation and she like, throws it down. And the look on her face, it's only eight seconds video. Please pull it up and tell me what you think about that. Are we misinterpreting that? She seems disgusted by her own flag. Can someone tell me what the deal is there? A couple more for you. While all this madness is going on in the world, this plane madness, this World War III, I'm going to do a separate video on that, by the way, because i got a ton more links as far as Russia, China, whatever. Look at this. Look what happened in the background while no one was paying attention. Of course, we were. I mean, the American public are hypnotized by the debates and now this plane 24 hours a day. Let me remind you. Budget buster. Senate passes debt deal. Spending hike in the dead of night. Senate passes debt and spending hike in the dead of night. Well, that's how they always do it. But that's not the shocking part. Here's the shocking part. Pay attention. Please share this information. 144-page bill amounts to $558 million in new spending per page. 144 pages, $558 million per page. Do the math on that. That's from the Washington Times, by the way, and I'll give you one to back that up from the examiner. Debt ceiling lifted, and the same day, debt jumps $339 billion. Our government now has no debt ceiling until 2017. Tell me how you think this is all going to end, folks. I would really like your opinions. Do you know how dangerous? It's just off-the-rails insanity. No debt ceiling. We'll just do whatever we want. Here's a $10,000 hammer. Here's a $50,000 toilet seat. Why not? It's like Goodfellas. Nobody's going to pay for it anyway. You know, when you can't borrow another buck or, or you know, run up any more credit, you burn the joint out. You light a match. That's why I believe, just my opinion, there will be an event that will make 9-11 look like nothing. I believe possibly multiple city, multiple country, nuclear false flag attack. Again, not 
perpetrated by whoever they're going to blame it on, but carried out by our own governments and the New World Order to bring in a one world government, one world religion, microchipped population, very much re reduced. It's like, say, so you might sit there and say, well, this isn't going to happen because I'm never going to give up my guns. Trust me, the New World Order is counting on that because their agents will come in and kill you. Please tell me your thoughts. Please rate this video. Please pass it around. Make people aware of this information, folks. I will, of course, put the blackjack links at the bottom for anyone who needs to review what I'm talking about. That is the scenario I believe is going to play out. On top of which, here recently, the mainstream media is worried about, the government's worried about a solar flare and the Durka Durka attacking the power grid. But I'll do another video on that. For now, you guys take care, stay safe, always remain vigilant. These are crazy-ass times. I will see you on the next one.